Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Recycle Bin apps. And as you can see here, there, there are photo, video, audio, and document recycle bin. They all work exactly the same. Each one uh, uh, works for different file type. I'm going to show you how to use the photo recycle bin today. Um, it, it's the same for all the other ones. So once you uh, start the photo recycle bin, um, it, you'll actually be you'll actually come to, come to this screen. And it's, it's very simple. To start the bin, all you have to do is click Start Recycle Bin. And once you start the recycle bin, you'll notice that there are notifications saying the recycle bin is running. Cannot cancel this notification like, like this. The only way to cancel this notification is to uh, go through either your go either go through your system uh, and hard kill it, or you can stop it um, in the app itself by clicking Stop Recycle Bin. Uh, so let's actually show you how the bin works. Um, so I'm going to start the bin again. Um, obviously, the the no obviously the notifications are here, and let's go um, and actually see what's in the bin. So if you view deleted files, uh, it's empty. That makes sense. Uh, but uh, if we if we use the file browser, you can see that a new folder has been created for you called Recycle Bin. In there, there is a photo um, folder that's empty, which makes sense. So let's go ahead and delete something. Uh, we can go to our camera and uh, let's see what this photo is. It's a it's my carpet. <laughs> let's delete this photo. So we're gonna delete this photo that ends in 48. Once it's deleted, uh, it's gone, but it is now in my recycle bin, which you can access either through the menu there or recycle bin photo and voila, it's right here. And uh, now that it's in the bin safely, you can transfer it to a computer, restore it, whatever, whatever you want. You can also empty the recycle bin by clicking this button here, um, which will obviously empty it. Um, and uh, you can also set the size of your bin. I wouldn't recommend anything less than 200 megabytes, um, but as you can see here, uh, you can set it and uh, if you start it, then your bin size will be set. So let's clear everything, reopen the recycle bin. Voila, it's set. Uh, uh, and that's it. As a final, uh, as a final note, um, check check out my recovery apps. These also come in photo, video, document. Oops, photo, video, document, and uh, and audio. Uh, these you use these if you um if you forget to turn the bin on or if, if it didn't work or for whatever reason. These apps actually go into your system and try to recover media. Uh, using algorithms that I've developed. Um, I'm also de currently developing the recovery app, which tries to combine all eight of these together um, so you don't have to download so many apps. Um, some other uh, interesting apps are the Photo Hider Locker browser. This lets you hide, lock, and view hidden files. The Memory Saver uh, saves uh, your phone storage by transferring files to your computer uh, sorted by size. And the Photo Timestamp puts a timestamp on all your photos. That's it. Thank you.